Assalamu alaikum, welcome to the semi final two against Essex Eagles versus Chinzidi Thunder. Scorpions. They changed their name. They changed their name? Changed their name. What was it before? Yeah, yeah, Chinzidi Thunder. Second innings, Ecclesfield Eagles versus Chinzidi Scorpions. One of these teams are going to be going into the final playing against the Longley Legends. Who's it going to be? Lions. Well, we'll find out. Longley Le Lions. Is it Longley Lions? Oh, sorry, I thought it was Legends. I'm sure it's the Longley Legends on this. I am a legend. <laughs> well, you are a legend indeed. There's no doubt about that. Don't but forget the name. Don't forget the name Rizwan Ishfaq indeed. Uh, I'm sure it's Longley. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, it's not Longley. Long, yeah. yeah, you clown. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's begin. Uh, let's get the scorecard up and uh, let's start. So, into the attack, we've got Abdul Wahab Jamil to open the ball here against Zain Atik. Two teams who look like They've got a very well balanced team. Uh, Ali Shaw playing for the Tinsleys. That's uh, that, that, that's new. Wide ball. Wide ball. <laughs> you have Asad making his commentary debut here. How do you feel? I'm very excited for the game ahead. We will see what happens. Zentig's making his big return today for the finals. He's getting ready. We'll see what happens later on. How come you got dropped? I didn't get dropped. I just got uh, promoted to a manager position. <laughs> What's wrong with your guy's selection? Huh? What's wrong with your guy's selection? Honestly, captain's uh, he's been uh, persuaded by uh, many of the teammates. Uh, he, he ain't got a mind of his own, to be honest. But today we've got a good team, good side. Uh, probably one of our best. What's your, growing today as well. What's your prediction, scientist? Um, I've not seen these two teams much, so I can't really comment. Uh, just looking at the players themselves, it looks 50-50, I'm not sure. I think I'd go for Ecclesfield Eagles to probably snatch this one, but only time will tell. Um, anyways, uh, getting back to the game, uh, Abdul Wahab Jamil uh, bowled a few wise there, uh, not being able to control that ball because it's a bit new, there's a bit of lateral movement. Uh, oh, that's a good delivery, good delivery that. So, uh, he's got a unique action, he's a right armor, again him as well, as long with Ersan Zayib, but he's moving the ball back into the right-hander, uh, just with that uh, cocked wrist that he's got, uh, nice to see. Ooh, good shot there by Zayn. Zayn Atik, definitely a very improved batsman, uh, he's played with uh, the... Uh, the more uh, you know the more senior guys uh, uh, for a while so uh, as far as experience goes he's definitely got that in his uh, under his belt yeah. uh, the experience of playing in YMA which I think is going to be crucial skipper into the attack Ronnie uh, been watching his videos been, uh, been following him quite a lot he's been very ecstatic when he takes some wickets uh, let's see how he fares today in a must win game well yeah it's a must win game for Tinsley yeah it is yeah hey. It matters of the run rate, run rate now. If Tinsley win, it's either Shy Green or Echoes feel the through. Yeah, it depends on run rate. Yeah. So he's got a leg slip in place. Uh, interesting tactics here by the coach. The coach, Ronnie Mia. The bird. Hey? The bird. The bird. Ah, oh, yes, I've seen the diving catch. Oh, good. Good ball, that. Yo. Yeah, I've seen the diving catch. It's been all over social media. It went viral. Yeah, yeah. Only on Ronnie's TikTok, though. Only on. <laughs> Not on cricket arena. <laughs> Not on cricket arena, no. And he comes. Yeah. Gone to the leg slip again. You've got uh, young talent at the other stri non strikers, Abu Bakr Rasul. What do you think of him, scientist? Hey, sorry, say that again. What do you think of the young talent Abu Bakr Rasul? Abu Bakr, yeah, uh, he obviously played in the men's league as well. Uh, a lot of potential obviously comes from a bloodline of cricketers in the legend Heather Nasser. Rasul and Nasser Rasul, uh, legends of the game. So, uh, he, and he, you know, I've, I've seen him about a few times now, and he's definitely got that same flair that his dad's got, Heather. Um, you know, very compact when he's buying in the middle. So I'll be looking forward to and hoping for him to score some runs today. Yep. I believe he did retire against a strong shy green side last week. Yeah. Uh, I hear a few sixes in the men's league as well. So he's got that power hitting ability as well. Yeah, mashallah. Right. End of the over. It is nine after two. This is his first ball back in his facing now. The debut for Tinsley. Uh, his name's Hassan Yazin. He did play for Donald. No, a piss more actually. 
sorry, who's this bowler? Hassan Yazin plays for Pismo. Plays for Pismo. Oh, Pismo, Vlad. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember. So the Pismo prospect coming uh, into the attack. Uh, Pismo versus Donald, right? Pismo versus Donald. Yeah, I was just about to say. Uh, let's see how Abu Bakr goes about this one. Friends versus friends. Well, they're not friends at the moment. Yeah, they're not friends. Uh, good ball to start off. I'll tell you one thing, uh, Abu Bakr's dad's definitely going to be watching this innings uh, as soon as the highlight reel comes out on YouTube and he's definitely going to be giving some tips. So <laughs> he's definitely going to be telling him, right, look, you need to dab this into the corner here. You need to do this, you need to do that. Heather Bai, if you're watching, we love you. And salam alaikum. <laughs> Wa alaikum salam. Right, back to the game. Oh, good shot that. Oh, he nearly got out there, one handed off the wall. I said, do you have any comments to say on your team's performance so far? Well, it's a very slow progress, but um, I think Obakir, he starts off slow, but then after that he starts getting into the game properly, and then that's when he gets really dangerous. You need to get him out at an early stage, but if you do not, then it's a very high risk for the team. Straight into, into the pads? Yeah, yeah, he's bowling a good line here. He's bowling it just uh, on that middle stump line. Uh, you know, Abu Bakr is not able to get it away off his legs. Just, ball. just like his dad, he's very dominant on the offside. I think anything outside off stump, he liked to yeah, cream yeah. it through the covers. But as soon as it gets a bit straighter, struggling there a bit. So. Uh, I think he just said to one of his teammates, it's too, too yeah, low. See, just there, just there. See what I mean? He's. Uh, Ronnie trying to cheat there. Hey? Ronnie trying to cheat there. Yeah, Ronnie just, uh, you know, he needs, needs to calm down as a captain. Just uh, see the game to game. So, you know, they're not doing too bad. I think it's the end of the over. Uh, we're just going to have an update on the score. 13. And the score is 13 after, yeah, 13 three. after three. Yeah. Uh, a new bowler into the attack. And comes Ibrahim Shaquille. Uh, sorry? Ibrahim Shaquille. Ibrahim Shaquille. Oh, good, good action. Yeah. Good action. One of one of my teammates in Yorkshire. Um, he, he's, he's good, good baller, Marshall. <clears throat> and Ronnie sat down. Ronnie obviously just showing a bit of confidence, uh, taking a seat. He thinks that this is going to be an easy win for his team. Wide ball. These extras do kill him, Waime. Hey? Extras do kill him, Waime. They do, they do, they do. I think as a baller. Uh, especially as a youth baller coming up, I think the one thing you've got to try and focus on is to try and minimise them extras. Uh, try to give as many, uh, you know, as little possible as extras as you can and then you can work your way from there. There's no point in having good pace, good everything, if you're going to keep bowling extras because it's not going to help anyone. Oh, he's gone out. He's gone, he's gone. Direct hit. He's gone. He's gone. They're going to have a look. They're going to have a look. What's the verdict from the square leg umpire? He's giving you out. He's giving you out. Is he giving it out? Yeah, he's giving it oh, out. Oh, he's giving it out. Yep. Yep, and he's confirmed by uh, the square leg cameraman, Ikram. Uh, and that's a wicket uh, off, uh, you know, very regular bowling. It's nothing outstanding. He's strained down leg, um, but obviously good wicket keeping by the wicket keeper to get the ball in and uh, get it in. Zain Wasim, Wasim, into the attack. This, uh, you know, but, he, you know, you wouldn't really say he's young for his age. But, uh, he, he, you know, I play, I play with him outdoor. I know what a fantastic batsman he is. Uh, a bit lazy at times, but... <clears throat> a bit lazy at times, but if he gets going, he is uh, a fantastic batsman to watch. He did just get hit by the ball, by the keeper. Yeah, the keeper just hitting him in the face. Surprise! He's he's getting he's coming out out yeah. to the ball. I think Zane needs to play uh, a sensible innings here. He I think uh, could get me. Don't get me wrong. I don't think. Uh, I, I, well, I say that he's probably the the best batsman that the Eckersfield Eagles have got. So he needs to take a bit of responsibility here. Stick in. <coughs> see his see his team over to 12 overs uh, and get the runs for it that his team needs. Remember, I mentioned it in the previous game as well. 
what makes the difference between a good player and a great player is game awareness. Yeah. Understanding what the game situation requires at a certain moment. That's what makes great players. So that's what Zayn needs to do here. Understand that uh, at the moment he doesn't need to go for big shots. Uh, stay in, get that retirement. Ooh, good ball there. Yeah, get that retirement and uh, get himself back into the dugout and get himself retired. End of the over, the score is 20 for one after four. Both batters right now need to, re need to retire if they want to qualify. I agree, I agree. It's going to be a pivotal uh, partnership, these two. Uh, they're going to have to stick in and uh, let's see who's to come. Ahmad, Mobin, Hamza, Hussein, Rafi. Rafi? Rafi again, yeah. Debut. No, it's no, his no, second game. game. This is his second game, very, yeah. Very well. He retired last game first. Rafi Ahmed, the big guy. Yeah. He's playing in this league. Yeah. Well, that's just absurd. I do not agree with that. The rules are uh, 23, 22 and over, and, and, he, should, and he shouldn't be playing. Uh, you know, he's over 30. Regularly. He's over 30? Yes. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. The bales have lit up. The bales have lit up. Uh, and uh, they have not been dislodged. So oh, that is just a dot ball. Ikram, Ikram. Very unlucky that by Ali Shaw. Test the bells, test the bells. <coughs> Stop complaining, get back. Listen, Not out. Ali Shaw steaming in to the young gun. He's Donald Dynamite teammate. There's a problem. Ronian is cheating. Ali Shah steaming in. Ooh, straight into the pads. Well, well saved. Abu Bakr is frustrated. Too special this time. Ooh, that was a good ball. It was a good ball, and with Ali Shah being in the team, brings a lot of experience, especially in the bowling category. He's played with the men's for a long time now. Uh, so he definitely knows what's required. But even even still, you know, with the experience he's got, he's still you know bowling extras. Yeah. Remember, I've always said that a great bowler is the one who limits the amount of extras that he gives. That's what Alishan needs to do today. Nicely played. That cost him. That would have been a good catch. That would have been a good catch that if he had caught that. Right, end of the over. Some slow start this 22 after 5. So yeah. the projected is 53. Definitely not going to be enough, uh, for my opinion. Some lows, some, some love was shown there between the two, two, two Donald Dynamite teammates. Elisha just goes in, do not smack right, it here. Ronnie Skipper back into the attack, bowling his left arm highs. Oh, what a catch! The bird again has done it. Superman has one of them. I don't understand why he dives. I, I actually don't know why. What does he dive for? I don't understand. It's definitely for the TikTok. It's definitely it? for TikTok. Yeah. I think his last one was is it a bird, is it a plane? No, it's Coach Ronnie. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Let's give him a free advertisement. If you want some coaching sessions, one to one to improve your batting or bowling, don't go to Ronnie. <laughs> oh, Rafi Ahmed, Faruqi. Oh. Ali Shah just screamed Faruqi. Sorry, I do apologise. Uh, Rafi Ahmed, first time watching him play indoor. Oh, 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 he's dropped, being dropped. Dropped, dropped. So, uh, two drops in four balls. For all of you fans that want to know why his name is Faruqi, we're, we're going to keep that a secret. We, 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 won't, we won't tell him. We won't tell the viewers why. Oh, shot. Oh, he's gone out. He's out. He's gone. Well, that was disappointing, wasn't it? Very disappointing. The ball before he was dropped, the next he was caught. Boys now. <clears throat> Eckersfield Eagles just in a bit of trouble here. In a bit of trouble uh, they are because uh, it's 22 for 3 after 
they're not doing uh, too well at the moment. Uh, Mubin or Hussein into the attack. Hey. Ahmad Mubin. Ahmad Mubin. Oh, Mubin. Very good batsman. He has saved this team many times before. <clears throat> when they were on the losing edge, Mubin has came, come in and saved them from uh, being uh, humiliated. And I think Mubin can do it again today. He does not crack under pressure. Also no, a very good player. I do enjoy watching this kid, Bar, because he is a blood relative and of Sakib. one of the superstars in our men's league, Sakib Hussain. Uh, so that bloodline will definitely help him. Look at that wick. You, you, you see hints of Sakib in him. Um, maybe not physically, but you know, uh, technique-wise, it's definitely there. You can see where he gets it from. Yeah, you can definitely see. I mean, he runs in their family. They're phenomenal players. Is, uh, the, you know their bloodline, which is really good to see. Obviously, you got you know superstars out here as well. Maybe you know on the lower side, but still. Uh, you know what? I don't like to show my talent. Otherwise, I'll be overshining these guys, and uh, you, they wouldn't get recognised in it. So I like to keep myself on the low. No, so no, that's fair. Look, that's what this league's all about: recognition, getting these youngsters into the game, exposing the talent that they've got uh, to get them playing in the bigger leagues. Great to see. Right, end of the over. The score is 24 after six. Yeah. Oh my oh, God! Abu Bakr. He tried. Oh, he tried this, cutting uh, top of this off is, ball. Uh, this is not very good. Uh, the uh, Ecclesfield Eagles are falling apart here. <coughs> Ecclesfield Eagles are falling apart. Uh, they need to get some kind of stability. I feel as if with Hamza still there. They still have a chance of uh, gaining a decent score on the board. Right, a new batsman in Mobin Ilyas into the attack. I've never seen this kid bat. Uh, let's see. Let's see what uh, this youngster can do. Nicely played first ball. Should have left it. It would have been a wide ball, but different batters do different stuff. Oh. Run, I'm. He could have run there. <coughs> There's two runs. Uh, scientist of the cow corner shot. Yeah, what do you say about that? Shot, yeah, I do enjoy that cow corner shot. As uh, the viewers uh, may remember my masterclass on how to play it. I did see that one. I'd li I like to say that people are taking it on board. Ooh, straight play there. So, Rizwan, I mean, what kind of a score do they need right now to stand the fine down? I mean, 46, which is the expected score, is clearly not going to be enough, is it? No, I would say... I oh. mean, I've not seen Tinsley, what their bat is like yeah. or how they are, but from experience of playing a for such a long time, me personally, I don't think 46 is a, you know, defendable score I, I at would, all. Yeah, I'll argue with you. I would say probably over 70. Over 70 for them to defend it and... Uh, Tinsley do have a very good buying lineup as they, do, they have they do. Ronnie, Adam, and uh, Pro Alicia. Yeah, the Pro himself, Alicia. Right, new baller into the attack. Adam. Ahmed Ashraf. No, sorry, not Ahmed Ashraf. <laughs> Adam. Uh, we yeah, keep, Adam, we Adam Hussain. Adam Hussain. Log one. <laughs> so the baller asking the keeper to stand up. He's shivering. He's missed it. I think he's going to send him back now. <laughs> you sure can? We've seen your TikTok, Sally. Then he comes again, bowling some spinnies. Bit short there. Nicely pulled there by Hamza. Ronnie asking the square leg umpire, did you get it on camera? Another pull shot there, fantastic. <clears throat> a moment of silence. Yeah, um, I think the you know as it stands, obviously, Tinsley Scorpions well on top, but Hamza needs to try and bring a bit of stability. Look at that beautiful shot, beautiful shot. Yeah, this kid's definitely got some class about him. I do like yeah, yeah. it. The shots he's played so far um, do represent a batsman who's got a lot of potential. Look at that, another beautiful shot. Two runs there. Good stuff, good stuff. And this is what you need. 
in indoor, especially in a place like YMA, you have to remember, and this comes with experience as well, Hit the walls. that you have to, it's more about hitting the walls yes. than it is hitting that back wall. The hitting that back wall is very difficult, you know. Okay, I don't agree with him leaving that because he could have easily just dabbed yeah. that for two rooms. But you know what, nevertheless. Um, yeah, you know, it's more about hitting the walls, you know, playing unorthodox shots, playing with the field, toying with the players that are around you, uh, rather than trying to smash the ball to the back wall every single time. Yeah. Right, end of the over, eight overs gone. They're on 36 for four. Projected score is 54. Still, I don't think it's going to be no, enough. No, no. They need at least 20 more runs than what they've got at the moment in order to stand a chance. <coughs> <laughs> Matches won by first in YMA is 43 scientist. Look at that. Full shot there. Good shot. Two runs. Matches by in second is 40. So only three games between them. Goes to show you can you can chase and you can defend. Yeah. As I said, average uh, you need over 70 to win. Yeah, I agree. And that I is think, the average score. It's tough for them, obviously they need to push on, but yeah, if they get about 60-70, they've got a chance of, oh, pull shot. Ooh, Ali oh, Shah's been hit. Into Ali Shah. Where was the catch? Where was the catch? Where was the catch, that Ali Shah? That can go on TikTok, Ali. Should have done better there, son. Shot. Oh, unlucky. Should have done better there. Door up the elbow, mate. It's only a win ball. Ooh. Abdul Abdul Hassan bouncing him as uh, he did first ball. Yeah. He did bounce Ikram first ball. Mm. I don't, you see, the thing is, right? I mean, I feel as if YMA isn't a place where you need to more bounce. Yeah, yeah. It's not a place where you need to back of a length delivery because it just opens up that area just to dab yeah. it or just to pull it onto the side. In YMA, your best delivery is going to be that top up off sub line. You don't want to be too full. You can afford to be full yeah. because it's difficult to hit the back wall for fours and sixes. But you want to be that under, test under, match under. top of off. Middle and off. Yeah, middle and off, fourth, fifth stump kind of line. Uh, you want to be where, where the batsman is almost trying to come yeah, forward yeah. to the ball. That's the kind of length you want to be at if you want to be successful in YMA. The ball that I bought to Junaid, I yeah. think that's where you want to pick Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Yeah, the one that you gave to Junaid. Really Beauty that of a delivery. Huh? Remember no, the no, name. No, Remember no, the name. no, no, look, look. You have credit, to ball that. Credit, 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 credit due, it was a fantastic delivery and that's where you've got to be. Six out of six if you want to be successful here. Right, back into the game. Nine overs gone, 40 for four. Hassan Yassin back into the attack. My ball. I believe he is a relative of the left arm swing of Jawad Akhtar. Indeed he is. Brother? No, cousin. Cousin. I definitely do see some resemblance. Good shot, that. Good shot. That's good batting. That's what they need. For, uh, yeah, that's what they needed earlier on as well. Just the dabs there. You don't even have to run. Don't take the risk. They hit the ball on the full on the wall. You do that. I know it's easier said than done. But six out of six times, you do that. And you, you know, don't get caught the wall. Runs. Yeah, you and don't get caught. Perfect runs. way to do this, Hamza. It's very versatile. You can play indoor, outdoor, no matter yeah. what size of the pitch, no matter how high the ceiling. You can do it all. It's very versatile. Yeah. You can adapt to any situation. Same as Mubin. He's very calm and collected, he's cool and collected. Both plays. Yeah. I think this is the best two pairs to play together right now. And, yeah, uh, in this situation, you can, you can definitely see in his technique as well the way he's playing. He's playing. He's playing the ball, the maneuvering, the shots that he's got. He's very quick to get onto the back foot and punch it to the leg side. But then at the same time, he's got the dub as well. He's got it's, a keen eye for certain balls. Yeah, he's got a very deep bag of shots, and he's pulling them all out today beautiful, to win this game. Beautiful, beautiful. It reminds me so much of how Saki plays. Obviously, Saki. How he used to play. Well, right how he now, used to play. Right At the now. moment, he's just a destructive monster. Saki was just the entertaining everything one. for a six. You know, don't get me started with his form. But yeah, I do see that resemblance, and it's just lovely to see. Look at that maneuver in the field, placing did, the ball where he we wants. We did see on TikTok Live, Saki still hitting sixes as he does in he, in BBI. He yeah. doesn't stop. He doesn't stop. He's a fantastic player. We all we've all seen him for such a long time. We've all grown up with him from when he was a youngster to the class that he is right now. It's fantastic, and it's fantastic to see that his bloodline is coming yeah, through yeah. in the likes of Hamza and our brother Sat here. Asad.
Huh? Chalai, you need to push me over. Huh? Chalai, you need to push me over. Right, end of the over, two overs to go. Eddie Shaw into the attack for his final over. They are on 49. Shot there. Oh. And that's just one run. Scientist, what do you think of that shot? Sorry? What do you think of that shot? Bit of a hack, if I'm mm -hmm. being honest. There's no real, uh, you know, no real destination purity about that kind of a shot. It was not going nowhere, that shot is kind of useless in the Yeah, it is, it is, I agree with you. It's a useless shot because it's hit the net and it's just dropped and I hit for one run. Not, not to cow corner. Hey? Not to cow corner. You, you don't need to hit with power in YMA. YMA is more touch. You need, you need so, technique. So, 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 yeah, yeah. Not even technique. You know, unorthodox batsman, uh, for example, Maza Sharif, very unorthodox. But he gets. Oh, good ball, good ball. Good ball, it's a good ball. You know, Mazar Sharif, very unorthodox. You've, you've seen him, yeah, you, know, you, yeah. you yeah. bowled at him a few times. Uh, and you can see that he's constantly moving around. Yeah, yeah. He's always trying to do, you know, do different things. Oh, what a ball! The pro gets the middle stump out. Oh. Fantastic delivery there by Ali Shah. Yeah, really good delivery. Uh, that's just the experience that comes with him. Experience that comes with uh, Ali Shah playing yeah, yeah. the men's league. See, that's what you want to be. You know, I was speaking about it earlier, that middle, uh, off stump yeah. kind of line, fourth, fifth stump, that's where you want to be. Start off fourth, fifth stump, bring it in slowly. And next minute, watch it, they're going to get castled. <laughs> He's uh, born in absolute gas here. Another youngster into it, Ahmad Ali. I tell you what, lads, I am enjoying watching these prospects uh, in, in action tonight. Yeah, uh, obviously, I've not been uh, before, uh, but it's great to see. Let's get back to Mazza's technique. Mazza moves around. He doesn't. He doesn't stay in his crease. He no, he doesn't. Yeah. And that's what makes him such a good player. Yeah, yeah. Because as a bowler, you might be. You, you know, you'll be able to back me up because yeah, yeah. we're both ballers. When you've got a batsman who's moving to the left, moving to the right, yeah. giving himself room, going all the way across, what do you ball? You don't know. What, you don't you have don't a clue. Know, you don't know what he's going to do until the last second. Yeah, yeah. And as a bowler, it's very hard to adjust in the last second. Uh, so that's what makes him a good bowler. Right, last over, running to ball it, Hamza to face. He's diving, I don't know why he's diving. I think we should ask him in the post-match. This dive now is just for the TikTok. And then oh, we're not going to promote it now, because <laughs> he's doing too much now. Good shot, that. And that's good shot, four, four runs. That's, four. that's poor fielding. You know, you know if he's going to hit the wall, watch the rebound. Yeah, that's a very key thing in here as well. The ball goes flying off the wall. <laughs> He's flying to the up. He's asking for a no ball. Ronnie into the top again. Smacked oh, it for six. six. Runs. Smacked it for six. Fantastic shot by Hamza. What a shot. Rocked onto the back foot and bang. Beautiful shot. Beautiful. Oh, nicely played. Beautiful. Nicely played. Classy cricket. I think Hamza's been watching a bit of Saki. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> This is amazing. This is what I like to see. This is what I've come for. And innings like this, beautiful. I'm really enjoying this youngster back. Look at that. Look at that. And the running between nicely the wickets. Nicely played. Nicely played. Amazing. Amazing. He's finished. And they have ended He's on. finished with the high there. They've got, you know, a decent score. 65. They've got 66 needed. In 12 overs, it's. I won't say it's going to be an easy chase. It wasn't, it wasn't. There's going to be a prayer pressure. It is definitely chaseable, uh, but we're just going to have to wait and see. Cricket is a funny game. Yep. We'll see you shortly for the second innings.